What's up everybody, I'm Jason C. and today on The Master and Drum we are spotlighting a brand new rye whiskey called Rye 3 from Phenomenal Spirits. Now this special rye is blended from three whiskeys, three hand-picked mash bills, and three distinctive age statements. It's got a unique finish, a unique flavor profile. Um, I'm also going to be trying the company, the same company's Phenomenal Spirits, this rum, uh, which is a spirit I've never reviewed before on The Master and Drum, but you know, rum, drum, why not? Plus, I've been really getting into rums lately, so let's check them out today. Phenomenal Spirits founder and CEO Kartik Sudhir started the company in 2017 with a lifelong dream to try his hand in the spirits industry. Now he came to the US in 2005 and once he took his first trip to Kentucky and graduated from the Moonshine University, he pretty much knew he didn't want to distill. What he really wanted to do was build a brand. He wanted to develop new spirits, he wanted to do blending, and he wanted to start off with his first love, rum. Rana's alcohol rum ended up being his first creation and he pretty much knocked it out of the park from the beginning. Ranazalco gets its name from the 6,447 foot volcano in Central America. Their mineral rich black soil produces world class sugarcane, which is perfect for rum. So when you combine that with the tropical climate of Central America, you get some amazing flavors for the rum, which is actually aged in 10 years in ex bourbon casks from Kentucky with absolutely no sugar added at all, which is something you see a lot of with cheaper and, and other rums. So once the rum took off and won numerous awards, the next step was to develop this, a rye whiskey. But for this, Kartik called upon seasoned master blender, Matt Witzig. Matt Witzig is the master blender and COO now at Phenomenal Spirits and previously was COO and head blender at Joseph Magnus with the amazing Nancy Fraley. Now with that impressive resume and after a few different stints at some startups, he met Kartik and developing a rye whiskey together seemed to be a shared goal and passion they had. Timing is everything and after some serious tasting, some serious blending, Rye 3 was born. Alright guys, so Rye 3 is a blend of three different whiskeys, three carefully handpicked mash bills and three H statements. This blend includes an MGP 95% rye, a 100% Alberta rye out of Canada, and a 12 year old light whiskey. Alright, so what the hell is light whiskey? Nerd alert! All right, so while I'm pouring this, let's talk a little bit about what light whiskey is. People do ask me what light whiskey actually is. It's not a diet whiskey. <laughs> Some people think light whiskey. Does that mean it's diet? I'm serious, I've gotten that question before. All right, let's pour this real quick. So light whiskey, to be called a light whiskey, has to come off the still at 160 or higher, which compared to bourbon has to be at 160 or lower. Um, it's usually 99 to 100% corn, and it's usually aged in used bourbon barrels rather than new. So big names like High West and Jay Mattingly and even Old Carter all used or bottled light whiskey at some point to add a buttery and sweet component to their blends, and the same can be said here for this Rye 3. Now let me pour a little rum. One thing that's really cool about light whiskey as well is that it helps smooth out the rough edges of a spicier whiskey. Um, it could, you know, add viscosity, it adds a nice finish, and it can help bridge the gap of, you know, different flavors between the whiskeys. Usually you see light whiskey, you know, because it comes off the still at higher than 160 proof, it could really come off at a high proof. I've seen light whiskeys at 135, 140, but because of such a high corn and sweet content, it really doesn't come off that harsh. So after Matt worked his magic and him and Kartik had their blend, the idea was to use the Azalco rum barrels to finish the rye whiskey to give it some tropical flavors mixed with some great spice to bring together the best of what they had crafted. Now, this is bottled at 100 proof and is available for only 56 bucks, which is a great price for a new rye. But before we do that and dive in, let's try the rum first to see you know, what those flavors are. 
So this rum, the Ronda Zalco rum, is, is actually only 55 bucks. Um, it's 43% ABV. It's currently available in Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Delaware. Again, nothing added, no color, no sugar, all natural. They also have a 15-year that's, um, it's a different blend of rums that they have, but it's also ex-bourbon barrels from Kentucky, but that's cast strength, it's amazing. It's like pure pineapple and tobacco. They sent me, they were kind enough to send me these bottles. They also sent me a sample of that 15-year uh, rum, and that thing was delicious, but that's all gone, because I drank it all. All right, let's try the rum first. So this is just delicious maple syrup. I mean, it's a typical flavor you get in some really nice sipping rums. There's a banana note in there that's really delicious. So the first time I had this, I described this as like the best banana walnut pancakes drenched in like a rum maple syrup. That's basically what it smells like. All right, let's go for a sip. Wow, so as maple syrupy and as you know, banana and nut and, and that pancake syrup that you get on the nose, on the palate, you can really get that intensity of the Kentucky barrels working its way in there. There's a very rich caramel, a very rich vanilla note, combined with the banana walnut pancake flavors are just, it's, I mean, if you guys like sipping rums, if you like sipping rums, not rums that you mix, I mean, really good high quality rums, a 10 year old rum for about 55 bucks. This stuff's really, really delicious. Let's go for another sip. So every now and again, I like to have rum with a really good cigar. I gotta tell you, I had a couple of Padrones with this, which is a really nice, rich and spicy cigar. You combine that with this, uh, this sweet rum, you get an amazing flavor combination. So if you guys like cigars and rum, check this out. All right guys, so again, this is three different, you know, mash bills and whiskeys blended together. You have the 95.5 MGP, the 100% Canadian Alberta rye, and then the 12 year old light whiskey, which we talked about earlier. Those are blended together into totes, and when they're ready to meld, they are put into the old Ron Azalco rum cask. I got this all from Phenomenal Spirits. You gotta love the transparency. Also, this is bottled at 100 proof and has a nice low price again of about 55 to 56 bucks. It's Again, both really good price points for what you're getting. So you would think that a rye whiskey with a rum finish would just come off way too sweet. You know, if you're thinking about the Angel's Envy rye, which comes across as very maple syrup and very marshmallow, this still keeps that rye characteristic, which I love. So it's, it's very unique other really than, I think Templeton did a, a rum finish on a rye and uh, then you have Angel's Envy, there's not really many of these on the market that have that type of finish on a rye whiskey, which is, makes it pretty unique. But on the nose, you get that MGP DNA. You get the spice. There's kind of like a, like an orange and pine, like, you know, aspect to it. For those of you out there that like a, a, a dill forward rye whiskey, this really doesn't have any dill at all. There's apple. There's, there's some good tropical notes in here that it's pulling from the rum. There's, uh, I definitely pick up a little bit of a coconut aspect in there. There's a slight nuttiness to it as well. I'm not sure if it's like almond or uh, cashew or walnut. It's something waxy. Being that there's a lot of walnut that I'm picking up in there, I would lean towards maybe walnut. But I mean, that really nice mix of spice and sweet and a little bit of nuttiness really rounds out the rye nicely. Let's go for a sip. Here we go. Mm, this is nice. It doesn't have a palate that's gonna, you know, blow you away when it comes to the spiciness. Again, I think the light whiskey did what it's supposed to do. It rounded out those rough edges. It's got some really nice spice up front and on the back end, but in between that, sandwich, sandwiched, sandwiched in between the two spicy characteristics, you have some really nice tropical flavors. I'm telling you, I'm getting a really nice dose of coconut. I think I got like a little hint of like a tropical fruit at one point, like a mango or a pineapple or something like that in between. Definitely from that rum casks. There is a little bit of that maple syrup aspect that's right in the middle as well. Go for another sip. Again, rum finished spirits that I've had in the past, the rum tends to take over the finish. What these guys did, especially for a rye whiskey, they kept it where the rye is still the star of the show, 
while the rum aspect and the rum finish of it is just kind of lifting it up and just adding some more flavors. Again, the combination of sweet and spice. I think the best part about this is the viscosity of it. You know, we talked about that 12 year old light whiskey in there and what it does to the whiskey. It really adds like a buttery, sweet, you know, type of flavor profile to it. Gives it a really good, you know, viscosity. It's very syrupy. Again, then you kind of pull in the maple syrup aspect of it, but then you keep that nice spiciness. Let's go for another sip. Yeah, and the more you sip this, the better it gets. The apple is starting to come a little bit to the forefront. Again, more of the syrup, the coconut, the pineapple. But it just keeps, throughout the entire thing, it just keeps that really nice uh, minty um, and kind of citrus and pine spice to it. Let's go for one last sip and kind of break it down a little bit one more time. Here we go. All right, so front of the pal, this is all rye. I mean, you get, you get the Alberta, you get the, um, the 95.5 MGP rye all up front. It's got some spiciness to it. It leaves a little nice uh, tingle on the front of your tongue. Uh, you get a little bit of a, of a punch of citrus there too. Once that stops and hits the middle palate, then the rum influence kicks in. You get the maple syrup, you get some nuttiness. You get a little bit of that coconut or pineapple flavor that comes right in the mid palate. Then on the finish, here comes the, the, uh, the rye whiskey again. It ends with some nice spice. It ends up with a nice long lingering finish. You also, I think, get the light whiskey in there where the age comes in. You get a little bit of oak, just a touch. Again, that buttery characteristic from the light whiskey as well. It's a wonderfully crafted whiskey, which definitely has the best thing that I like in a really good whiskey is balance. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly spicy. It kind of guides you along and for 54, 55 bucks. That's probably the, again, probably one of the best things about both of these bottles. All right, guys, well, since they're so small, they don't have a huge distributorship just yet, but what they do have is a good online source, but you can order these. So head to curiata.com. I'll leave the link down below in the description of the video. Um, again, the rye three here, which is, again, a very well-balanced rye whiskey for only 56 bucks. Don't really see that in new craft spirits that come out, especially one using 12 year old whiskey in it. And also, you know, with a rum finish, usually you see those way more expensive. So for 56 bucks, I think it's a great deal. If you like different, balanced, and if you're into something, you know, a little bit off the beaten path when it comes to rye whiskey. Uh, if you also love the rum, you can get it there too. Um, if you love sipping rums, this is amazing. Again, no color, no sugar, nothing added to this. It's just pure sugar cane, uh, delicious rum. There's, a, I'll also leave a link to get a three pack where you can get the rye three, the 10 year old rum, and also the 15 year old rum, which I mentioned before, which is like pineapple. It's like drinking like a pineapple aged cigar. Um, it's got some tobacco notes to it. It's got the pineapple sweetness to it as well. It's a delicious rum as well, and you can get all three for I think about 200 bucks. I'll leave the link below as well if you're interested in that. And um, with that, happy shopping. All right, guys, we well, hope you enjoyed this review as we took a look at Phenomenal Spirits and what they're doing with their rums and their rye three whiskeys. And they, I know they have a lot more coming down the pipeline when it comes to finishes, especially with Matt Witzig at the helm, you know, previously from Joseph Magnus, who knows what they have in store, maybe an Armagnac, maybe something Cognac. You never know, uh, and with this type of blending experience, I think we can look for big things from Phenomenal Spirit. So if you liked the video, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know what you think about these, uh, the flavor profiles I mentioned, if it's something you're interested in. And like I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers, and I'll see you next time on the Mash and Drum. Take care. Mm. I love that stuff, man. I'll have some rum too.